Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and Thursday means one thing. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what this block here is in front of me. Well, I haven't been this excited about an update in quite a while, but this one has really blown my socks off. This is a jump drive, as you can see it's labelled here, and the idea of this is to travel around space super fast between two destinations it's, it's like a very iconic sort of thing you hear and see about in movies and they've got this very high textured block that requires a charging process to actually go into action so this green one is fully charged red one is either damaged or not working and there is an orange or sort of yellowy variant that means it's currently charging and it's going to be a really exciting thing to see in survival but let's actually have a look how it works on a ship so now they're actually in this blue ship, you can see the jump drive is actually located on the back of it and both of the starships have been updated and I thought I'd use this one just as an example. Now a question you're probably having is can you jump through objects like this asteroid ahead? So we've set up the jump drive and we're just going to press 9, it's going to us a little bit of a warning, so the distance to destination, that many distance and it's basically telling us the minimum jump distance is too close so we actually need to change this thing up and we're going to do that by going to the options we'll go to the k menu and we'll find our jump drive so we're going to type in jump we'll select the option there and you'll notice that we've got a gps location so there's two ways of jumping there's gps based jumping and there's a blind jump so to get rid of this we need to remove that so now we're on to blind jump mode and this actually highlights to show you're on that and then you can move up the distance so let's just jump quite considerably far and um, we're going to select that and then you see what I've done here is once I've selected that, it's gone back to the GPS location jump. So we're going to remove that and then we'll be ready to jump. So we'll hit nine on the keypad and you'll notice it's given us some information about the percentage of achieving the jump, the weight and mass that's being transported, operational jump devices one, seated crew members one, and we're going to select yes. And now you'll hear this power up or just listen to the sound of it. Wow. Seven, six, counting us down. And then you get this absolutely awesome effect when it counts down to one. There we go. Look at that. And now we've teleported off into the distance. And you can see the start base is over there. So now that we've completed our first jump, that was a blind jump, we're going to do a GPS jump now. So we're going to go back to the K menu. We're going to find the jump drive. So if we can find that quickly, grab that. And we're going to select GPS settings. And the way of showing it's actually selected is it grays out the blind jump option. So if I remove that, you can see it's highlighted. Select and it's gone gray and now we've selected that we can actually go back to our menu press 9 and you can see the warning window comes up saying that we've picked uh, to jump back to the start base the percentage see your crew and all the information that's given us before we select yes and you can hear the jump drive powering up and that is going to teleport us back over to the start base in three two and one and go there you go, you can see it does that awesome sort of pulse effect. It doesn't make too much sense when you're actually looking backwards on your ship, but when you're looking behind it looks really cool. And there's the base over there. So it's not jumped as exactly onto that GPS coordinate, but if someone was quite smart about it, this means you could probably jump this inside people's bases with explosives on. The, the, the actual sort of weapon technology that you could develop from this is absolutely crazy. We'll give it a go anyway, and I'll show you what will come up with in a second. So another little thing I wanted to test out would the speed of the ship be preserved as you travel through a jump? So we've got the inertia dampeners disabled and we're going to jump at this speed. So I'm going to select a 9. It's going to give us the information. And we're traveling at a constant or go slowly going down. 49, 39 meters a second. And it's going to jump in 2, 1. And let's see if that speed is preserved when we get on the other side of the jump. And it seems to be. We seem to be still traveling forward in that speed. That's really interesting and quite useful. So if you want to jump close to an area, you might want to be traveling at a considerably lower speed or you might jump out and hit an asteroid. But that's still pretty cool. Now, just before we go on to having a look at weapons, I want to talk about transporting ships or small ships in this case. And the way of transporting them easy is connecting them to the ship itself. So I'm just connecting this one by landing gears and this has been teleported back and forth to me. You can also use the connectors, the merge blocks. And if you want to teleport someone in one of these ships, say for instance, just sit in the cockpit, as long as they're part of the ship, it will actually connect and teleport them with it. So it's really cool. It's also a great way of getting away from fighters and all sorts of things that might be attacking you using this jump drive. But let's turn this thing into a deadly weapon. When we work out the direction from that GPS, we should be able to get a perfect drop location. And that means we could actually teleport to someone's base with explosives if we really wanted to. But, but we'll just test out and see if this works first. So we're going to power up our jump drive, select the jump drive itself, and we're going to remove that. 
and then we're going to jump to a distant location. So there's going to be a blind jump powering up in nine seconds. And once that's powered us away, we'll teleport back. It's a bit of a funny looking ship, this, but it's perfect for this sort of testing scenario. Right, so there we go. We've teleported out of our box all the way from the start base. That's the location. And we're going to let this recharge and then jump back and see if we can jump into a box. Right, so we're ready for the jump back now. All I'm going to do is press the button. I've already configured it, and it's still charging by the looks of it. So we're going to have to give it a second. There we go. And confirm the jump location. Let this charge up, and fingers crossed, we'll jump back into the box. If we do so, this is going to make for some absolutely crazy sort of construction projects and teleport sort of devices. Now, are we going to be in the box? Let's see. No. It appears it's actually moved us the opposite side of the start location so this means it might have a random sort of chance of jumping around that area or it could change it if something is blocking that jump path really cool indeed now i'm really happy that they've actually brought this into the game it's a really cool aspect and it's something that's really necessary for the future of planets and that's why they probably brought it in to the actual game itself so people can travel between planets without all that time wasted traveling in between them Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, an absolutely beautiful update, and I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.